Hey there guys, uh, happy Monday to all of you out there on this September 26th and what is turning out to be a very special day. Initially I thought Monday was going to be kind of the way I kicked off this very special week by sort of uh, counting down as the last day before the new Wilco release. The whole love drops in stores and record stores and you know places where they sell things near you but uh, this morning I was very pleasantly surprised to look out my window and find that uh, in the mail um, the pre-order had already come in my mind I think that's probably the best bonus of all because I think in addition to getting everything that you get in a pre-order which you know usually comes with some pretty cool packages depending on what kind of money you want to spend I think that when you make that decision and you're the you know music nerd fan combination that wants to lay down the money right away and in advance you should be able to get your stuff early in in front of everybody else because you know you kind of made that commitment i think that's kind of the best part of what they did here and uh that makes me incredibly happy and i've been sort of resisting opening everything and sort of digging into it until i could make a video to show all of you guys and uh, kick off this special wilco the whole love themed week over here at this dog ate my vlogs so um without further ado let's uh let's get right into it this is the official wilco unboxing video okay so first up as i fight my allergies coming on here we have this uh, pretty rad Wilco The Whole Love t-shirt. As you may or may not know about me or may have guessed, I certainly do enjoy my fair share of different t-shirts of si many different sizes, shapes, and colors, and unique things. And this is certainly no exception here. This is pretty cool. Uh, got the design, obviously, and the Wilco The Whole Love. Uh, nice blue material. Uh, not any of the special bamboo stuff that they've done. Um, I'm not sure if that's a running uh, thing still with newer designs that they've uh, put out. I haven't really gotten one of their shirts in a while but that's pretty cool as you can see next we have the special uh, limited edition bonus track CD here which uh, you will not really be able to see on my camera but has the four bonus songs which are I love my label which if you remember uh, I covered with my Wilco the national mashup video because it was the b-side to I might uh, we have message from Midbar, uh, speaking to the Rose, and an alternative version of Black Moon. I haven't heard those yet. This is all kind of a first for me as I'm going through. I'm seeing this all as you guys are seeing it. So um, I really don't know anything about those tracks yet, but I will get back to you maybe as the week goes on, since it's going to be kind of a theme week here at uh, the channel. To go along with it and continue that, we have the uh, the basic disc here, as you can see. Uh, just looks like the stand all the standard songs. Hold on just a moment. And yeah, and the standard yellow disc. Got that. We have this, uh, looks like a very cool 52-page uh, booklet here with the design and uh, some very cool artwork throughout. We got some uh, the lyrics and different things. I think they use the same artist for all of this. And if I could remember her name right now, I would tell you, since I just uh, heard them mention it last week um, when they did an, uh, the NPR uh, radio interview uh, after the listening party for the album, as I'm digging back through my memory to recall it. They mentioned who the artist was, but at the moment I can't think of it. Um, very cool work though, if this is all her, and uh, I think I'll definitely be taking a very close look at that. I like that they've got the uh, lyrics to the bonus tracks in here. Sometimes you don't get that with some of these things. Oh, and there's the guys from the band, Mike and Pat. Nels and John and uh, Glenn and uh, Mr. Tweedy himself, of course. But yeah, as I was saying, I think it's pretty cool that they included lyrics for the bonus tracks. Uh, you don't always get that. I mean, not that they don't come out later because somebody figures them out, but that's pretty cool. Uh, so that's the that, the bonus booklet. And uh, more artwork here with the uh, bonus disc with the four bonus tracks on it, which I will also attempt to dig out for your amusement. Uh, yeah, we've got a black disc here for that, which is pretty cool. Okay, so that is that. Very quickly, before we get to the big thing, the last thing here, we have this uh, sticker, which uh, would probably be going on my guitar case uh, for the new Wilco label, decibels per minute, which is pretty cool. Um, I think that's going to be a pretty cool enterprise on their part, and uh, it's a cool sticker. Not really a heck of a lot to say here, but <laughs> you get the idea. Lastly, as we near the end of this unboxing video, we get to the main 
attraction here, the whole reason we're here, which is the big vinyl itself. As you can see here, we have the main cover, obviously, Loco, the whole love. Got the whole design, which is a very cool design. It's funny, it feels like just yesterday I was reading about this online that the cover had just been revealed and now I'm holding it in my hands, which is <laughs> such a cool thing right now. And uh, we have the back here, pretty plain. Um, also, I should make note, and I will probably include this on my channel during the week. I may uh, set up the camera and have it play. Um, in addition to all the standard tracks you get on here, uh, there's also a vinyl only bonus track called Sometimes It Happens. And I have no idea what that sounds like yet, but I think I will probably find room to set up my turntable and uh, squeeze that in for you guys this week if you want to hear that. So there's that. And you see we open it up. And I knew right away the moment I saw this it had to be a gatefold, obviously. Look at that. More awesome artwork. All right, we pull out the first flap. This is so cool. This is like, anytime I get a vinyl, it's like Christmas to me. It's like you're unwrapping presents. And the more elaborate it is, the more you have to unwrap. And it's just, it's just awesome. I hope anybody who is into the medium like this and watches and is into this stuff and knows what I'm talking about digs it just like that because I think it's just the coolest thing. Let's see here. We've got, uh, we've got the lyric book inside with another uh, disc, which is for obviously the listening portion if you are into disc music. Uh, that was a really awkward statement. Uh, lyric booklet, which is very nice. This, this vinyl is exceptionally well done. I love when they put something together really elaborately like this for the fans. Uh, yeah, we got the boys here again, all six of them making magic. Uh, got that. Um, just unbelievable artwork. Uh, yeah, lyrics for everything. Uh, we have personnel on here for every every song. Um, uh, Joanne Greenbaum, that is the artist. Art by Joanne Greenbaum. Uh, cover, gatefold, uh, inside insert, everything. Joanne Greenbaum, that's exactly who that is. I don't know if you want to check her out, whatever that is, but does great work for this. Joanne, Joanne Greenbaum, say it just one more time. And uh, that's it for the first fold here. And we cross over the middle once again. Beautiful. And we get over to the second flap. Shouldn't be quite as much detail, I don't think. Excuse my uh, bad camera work here. But uh, yes, we have the second uh, disc with, with the uh, platter, whatever you want to call it, with the red insert. The red. Got a little dark black here. Like the little letters the way they are there. That's pretty cool. With the uh, yellow on the first one as well as uh, kind of a yellowish orangey kind of thing going there so we have those two and um, I think that is about it for today I am very very proud and very very happy to present this on a day early before the release date itself um, I think uh, my early opinion of this album so far, I've, uh, I've heard it stream. Um, I may have heard it in other ways that I won't discuss here. And I've uh, heard it through the NPR, um, the NPR broadcast, as I mentioned already. And um, I have to say early impressions of this um, are very solid. And I'm very, um, very impressed with what they've done here. I think this is sort of revisiting uh, earlier territory where they should have been. I think maybe the last two albums, Sky Blue Sky and Wilco the Album, kind of took a break from that. Um, I kind of give more of a pass to Sky Blue Sky because I think it, it really embodied a certain time and place with the band and with Jeff, and I, I think that album is really beautiful, so I don't knock that one quite as much as other people do. However, I think maybe Wilco the Album was kind of uh, a rushed experience, a little bit of flavor every flavor bean kind of a deal. I, the band wasn't together at the time, I, I, in the sense that they were all in different places working on this. I think this is kind of what they needed to get back to as a group. Um, but I'm gonna continue listening to this and I will give you my full opinion as the week uh, draws on. I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, brief uh, unboxing. It probably won't end up being brief in the final video total, but bear with me. And uh, I hope you'll end up enjoying what I have to bring to you the rest of the week. And most of all, I hope you enjoy this album. I think it's a beauty. And uh, I think it's going to be worth theming this whole week after. So uh, stay tuned, everybody. I got more to bring you soon.